Welcome ladies and gentlemen to this class on using geometry nodes for procedural modeling in Blender. The first question we're going to answer in this lecture is what is this course for? Well, this course is directed at the use of geometry node trees to procedurally create 3D models in Blender. Now geometry nodes are new to Blender as of the beta version of Blender 2.92. Make sure to check to see if the version you are using has the geometry node editor type. It is found when you are changing a panel in Blender under the general category. If you are using Blender version 2.91 or older, it is very unlikely that you will have the geometry node setup. So make sure to download the most recent version of Blender so that you are able to begin using geometry nodes. Who is this course for? This course is for those who wish to begin learning a new workflow for creating both singular objects and entire scenes using a node system. This is recommended for beginners to using geometry nodes. Although, since geometry nodes are such a recent addition to Blender, most will be beginners anyway. It is not recommended though for absolute beginners to Blender itself, as students will still require sufficient knowledge in how the Blender interface works and how to create models using traditional methods. What are the requirements for this course? The latest version of Blender is required to learn this course. Stable versions may not have geometry nodes available, especially if you are using Blender version 2.91 or older. In this case, students will be required to download the beta or alpha versions from the Blender website. Knowledge-wise, students will find it easier to progress through the course if they have an understanding in how to traditionally make 3D models and if they use the node system to create materials, as this has been around since Blender 2.7x and the structure remains generally the same. By the end of this course, students will be able to do the following. They will be able to create shapes using various node setups. They will be able to set up parameters in the modifiers tab so that an object can be procedurally modified in a way that makes sense for that object. Students will also be able to create modular pieces using nodes so that users can create a fully procedural workflow for objects of any size and shape and students will also be able to build entire scenes using what are known as point nodes to create and control particle instances for building environments like forests, fields, cities, and even space itself. So let's get started learning about using geometry nodes for procedural modeling techniques in Blender 3D.